Hi, my name is Leslie So. I'm the founder of So Good Kombucha, and I am so thrilled to be here today to speak to you all. So what is kombucha? <laughs> well, the short answer is that it's a living fermented tea that tastes like a nice, sophisticated, fizzy drink, but it's actually good for your gut health, and it's a great substitute for alcohol or if you drink a lot of Coca-Cola. But the real answer is even more remarkable. Now get ready for this. This is a SCOBY, and that stands for Symbiotic Culture of Bacteria and Yeast. I know it looks a little bit like an alien, but it's actually an amazing multi-species ecosystem working together to create a drink that is so delicious and healthy that when it was discovered over 2,000 years ago in ancient China, it was known as the elixir of life. And kombucha is huge business worldwide. It's worth over $5 billion, and it's massive in, in, in North America, and Australia, and New Zealand. And in the UK, there's significant growth as well. So 92% uh, trend uh, over the last year in sales, as well as a market cap of 8.4 million pounds. It hits right on the trend of functional healthy drinks, as well as no and low alcohol as well. So I came across kombucha because my family has actually always brewed it, so I use the family recipe. Um, I was born in Hong Kong, and I grew up in Vancouver, Canada, and over 15 years ago, I moved to the UK um, to work for Rolls Royce PLC, and I've been fortunate to have had a really fantastic career, um, with my last job being the head of manufacturing for the biggest aerial engine test facility in the world. <laughs> so what made me leave my job? Well, there's a story there. Um, I actually, uh, the place that made the biggest impact to me, and um, these are all the places I actually lived and worked as part of my career at Rolls-Royce, um, but the place that really made an impact to me was actually Sao Paulo, Brazil. It's an amazing city. Um, it's a place where there are glamorous high-rises, but often in the same street, there's abject poverty. And I witnessed and saw firsthand just how much a good business can change lives how working at a reputable company like Rolls-Royce, even just being able to speak English, can lift entire families out of hopelessness and poverty. And that really gave me an impression and a vision that one day I want to be able to start a business where I could make a good product, do something that's good for the environment, and create good employment for refugees and others who are marginalized in society. Because work is so much more than just a wage. It offers purpose, it often gives people an, an opportunity where they feel like there's acceptance and belonging. And this is uh, Team Kombucha. <laughs> um, we are a very diverse uh, team indeed, um, both in age and ethnic by my, uh, background and education. Um, and clearly height as well. <laughs> um, many of the refugees that I work with and I've, I've had the pleasure of meeting uh, really lack confidence in English, but they make up for it in leaps and bounds with their resourcefulness, their diligence, their tenacity, and just this awesome positive attitude to be willing to start fresh somewhere new. And I, listen, the, what I want to do is to impact and empower many more people like that. Now, we've been trading for over a year now and have enjoyed great success and traction in the market. As you can see, I've had my mug on Sunday Times and we had celebrity endorsements and we've been to some amazing festivals and markets in the UK. Uh, and, you know, even though I still make most of the drinks myself, in fact, all of the drinks myself, <laughs> we've experienced huge growth in the last year, uh, uh, growth in sales of over 500%, um, sales of over 25,000 bottles, and stocks, stock is of over 50 across the UK. But if there's one thing that I've learned over the last year, apart from the fact that starting up a business is really hard work. <laughs> There's one, one key takeaway, is that if I ever really want to achieve the impact I want to make helping the planet and, and helping refugees, then I really need to have scale. In fact, it's a nice picture here, but uh, and I'm sure you may have a chance to try some of kombucha later. <laughs> um, but it, it, we need to be more than actually just the kombucha brand. So that brings me back to the SCOBY. A symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast is an ecosystem 
So imagine we take that and build that into a ecosystem of symbiotic businesses, good businesses working together. And we're well on that journey to already. So I'm working with a B Corp supplier and we're helping to, f to fight food waste by using surplus or wonky or rescued fruits um, into our second fermentation. We're in very early talks with a social enterprise. Oh, sorry, that's the, that's the business. We're in early talks with a social enterprise um, to create biofuels that will help us uh, to become carbon negative in our operations. And really excitingly, we want to work with our customers. So bars and restaurants and gyms and farmhouses, farm shops, sorry. Um, and for us to be able to help them develop their own better for you beverages using our technical expertise, our existing equipment and staff. Scale, what that will enable us to do is to reduce our unit costs, to spread our overhead, and most importantly, allow us to maximize our impact. Our ambition is to be the most sustainable startup bottling manufacturer in the UK. And our forecast is that this side of the business will actually exceed even our own kombucha brand's growth on a scale to five to one. A symbiotic environment of good businesses, changing lives, <laughs> lifting many people out of social um, benefit system into gainful employment and giving them hope and purpose. So that's my pitch. And if you have any experience at all in the food and drink industry, and if you've got any experience in sustainable manufacturing or packaging, or uh, if you are interested in doing your own startup brand, we can do some bottling for you or anything else at all, we'd love to talk to you and welcome you to join our SCOBY. So thank you very much, thank you.